What's up everyone? Today I'm going to run you through a game between two of the best players in the world in Young Kiv and Skimbo. Two players who play eerily similar to each other on both sides of the ball, their week one matchup in the Ultimate League came down to the final seconds and has proved to be one of the best games as of yet. In this video I want to highlight Young Kiv's defense in particular to really shine a light on how the smallest of adjustments can make the biggest of impacts. Now we'll start with Skimbo on the offensive side of the ball. Early in the game, he faces a third and 10 situation. Kiv sends five and drops six out of a linebacker cross three show two setup from the nickel 335 odd formation, and the roles become clear. Now looking here at the stock coverage, Kiv altered it slightly by putting the free safety into a flat zone and then shading underneath to acquire hard flats on both sides of the field. He then took the left outside linebacker and used him as his user defender to defend the middle of the field. At the snap of the ball, a few interesting things unfold. Now first, Skimbo went with a corner strike setup where he streaked the middle bunch receiver and motioned Brandon Cooks inside one step pre-snap. Now the reason this is important is because of the better horizontal spacing that is gained from the now more inward positioning of Cooks' route. With Harrison Smith shooting out into the flats from the safety position, Kiv was banking on him being able to threaten to play both the flat and the corner route due to his pre-snap position and phenomenal zone coverage rating. This is reinforced by the fact that Kiv's user defender instantly sprints across the formation to guard the backside C route by the solo receiver, which he knows will be open because of the underneath coverage by the flat zones that we mentioned earlier. However, the inside motion and slight delay on the left side corner route allows for the tight end to pull Harrison Smith out towards the sideline, opening up a nice passing lane for Skimbo as soon as the route breaks for an easy first down. This next play better demonstrates the wrench that the hard flat coming down from the safety position throws into this corner strike setup. Kiv goes with a very similar setup of his own, this time blitzing 6 and dropping 5. He knows he must play the right side of the field at the snap as soon as he recognizes corner strike and immediately shoots out. A skimbo decides to read the left side of the field and ends up making the correct read. With Kiv once again in underneath coverage, he throws the corner out. However, this time, he opted to not go with the inside motion, which ended up severely shrinking the passing lane as you can see. Despite this, he was still able to complete the pass to Cooks, although it was in heavy traffic between Harrison Smith and Adrian Amos, which is not really how you want to make a living on the offensive side of the ball. Now, it's a few plays later in the game, and we see Kiv catch on to Skimbo's patterns. He sees the left side inward motion once again and realizes what is about to come. This time, he only rushed four, and instead of playing underneath coverage, he went with over-the-top cloud flats on the outsides for this 4th and 10 scenario. He shoots to the left to cover the corner route, but now it becomes clear why Kiv was so intent on covering the backside C route in the first place. As the halfback out of the backfield widens towards the sideline on that table route, so does the cornerback assigned to the flat, which allows for a low pass from Skimbo on the break of the C route for yet another first down. I'll fast forward to the second half. On third and five, Skimbo ends up going to the well one too many times and Kiv finally cracks the case. This time he sends five, but instead of traditionally blitzing the right outside linebacker and dropping the nickel corner into a flat zone like he had been doing, he mixes it up. This time he opts to blitz the nickel back and drops the right outside linebacker into a hook curl effectively nullifying the horizontal spacing advantage that Skimbo kept getting with the inward motion of Brandon Cooks. Now Kiv stays disciplined and knows he still needs to use the right side of the field while Skimbo tunnels on the corner route which had been open for him all game, resulting in an interception and a huge swing in momentum for Kiv. Now that's going to be it for this video guys, however, if you made it this far into the video, I really appreciate you watching and would like to do my best to repay you. Leave a comment down below on anything Madden related that you would like to see from me and I will send you a personalized video on it. Once again, thanks so much for watching guys and as always, take it easy.